Watch you guys, got another one of these FBI ransomware uh, removal videos here for you. This is a new one that's doing around. This is uh, the money pack scam. And as you can see here, it says your computer has been locked. Pretty much like all ransomwares, what they're trying to do is scare you into paying for something that you don't need to pay for. So what they want you to do is they use the, your computer has been locked for suspicious or illegal content, downloading or distribution. And this happens to be uh, child pornography material and stuff like that. Don't worry, you haven't been doing none of this stuff, hopefully. And uh, this is not from the FBI, it is just a scam. And what they do offer is uh, four to 30 years imprisonment and 250,000 pound fine. All of this can be squared off and weighed off if you pay a $300 fee. Now, who's going to fall for that? Who's going to actually think that you've been doing this and you can face 30 years in prison and you only have to pay $300 to get yourself off the hook? <laughs> As if it was that easy. But anyway, I'll share to remove it. It's pretty straightforward. And um, what I want you to do is go to one of these places here, Walmart, Kmart, and 7-Eleven, and purchase a money pack card, and you would then put this into this location here and put your card number in and submit that and you would be off the hook but we're going to remove it for free anyway so what we need to do here is get into safe mobile networking and uh, the instructions should be on the screen right now now if you can't get into safe mobile networking and you do get the same ransomware then you need to use safe mobile command prompt okay uh, but I'll show you how to get into safe mobile networking Okay, so here we are at the advanced boot options, and as you can see, we've got some uh, choices open to us here. By using the cursor arrow keys, we can move this uh, down or up, and we're going to be trying to get into safe mobile networking. Now, this doesn't run in safe mobile networking, but if it does, uh, and it's updated at some time, then you need to use safe mobile command prompt. Okay, so here we are at safe mode with networking. You can see it's in safe mode by the little uh, letters on the right hand corner and the left hand corner there and uh, what we're going to do here is uh, kill this off now the first thing we need to do is go to computer and C root directory here and you want to make sure that you're showing all hidden files and folders um, you can do that by going into view here and putting the tick in or the dot in I should say into show hidden files folders and drives and uh, take the tick out of hide extensions once you've done that you can go into the users uh, account there and also this account here which is mine but yours will be whatever yours is that's infected and then go into app data and then we want to go into local for this one and you can see the culprit is there that's the actual culprit for this and uh, if you go inside here you will see an actual file on the system that is running okay now yours may be a different name or number or something like that but if it's the same as this one it will be something like this okay so you need to look in this area for uh, telltale signs of this okay and we can now delete this like so and also go into the temp area and just make sure there's nothing inside here okay you can remove everything inside here don't worry about that one okay and then next thing to do is you want to make sure you check the actual roaming area that's clear as you can see there and we're going to come back out of this now and uh, there's a folder on the desktop I'm going to get rid of that that's the one I've actually activated you can also get rid of this one okay we're going to go down to the registry editor here so we're going to get reg edit up like so open this up let me just close this off so you can see what we're doing okay so we want to go into hkey current user and then we want to come down to where it says software and then down to Microsoft and then we want to go into let's have a look here Windows NT first and current version okay we're just going to check that wind log on there and check all this okay we've got one that's uh, bad here so we're just going to get rid of that like so okay so next thing we want to do here is go into Windows here and check in there once we've done that one I'm going to come back out and go into this windows current version and then we're going to go into the run area and you can see this file here okay this is the one that you want to get rid of uh, because this is the one that's running so we can delete that key there completely 
once you've done that you're then good to go and run uh, software like Malwarebytes and stuff like that on the system and Malwarebytes is a free download you just need to go to their website and download that program like so and then download hit the download tab here okay and then we're going to let that install close this window off now now you don't have to do that registry stuff you could actually just run Malwarebytes and that should be pretty much good to go after that but we will uh, just quickly install this you can use the pro version for a trial if you wish let that update now if you're in command prompt you won't be able to download or update anything and then we we'll just run a quick scan here okay so that's the actual scan now finished and uh, you can see we've got one threat here we can check this out by show the results and that's in our download section that's the actual zip file that I used okay um, but basically that was the actual file I used to infect it uh, but you can remove that if you wish and uh, I will remove that like so and then we're going to exit out of this and then reboot the system back to our normal desktop and we'll just let this hope hopefully load up and we should be good to go and there we have our desktop back and everything's back to normal okay now you can run other scans with other software like hitman pro and stuff like that but these ransomwares are pretty straightforward and easy to remove okay okay i think that's about it for this video so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos hit that subscribe button and uh, rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoyed them and i'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now